YouTube kick welcome back to another one let's just get right into it. today we're gonna be talking about our very first thing Lil Uzi now I don't normally talk about artists but this one has got me intrigued because I want to talk a little bit about relationships like this and how dangerous they can be and why we need to avoid them so let's go ahead and start with the first one go ahead and start with the first one make sure let me make sure I got it up right Uh -uh. So it all started with little Uzi saying this right here. We let's move this up a little bit. Started with little Uzi saying this right here. So that's what people were saying that this, it, this is what led to the next thing. This is one of little Uzi songs from what I know. Um, she had a little flow. Shoulda look Ice Spice. Uh, I don't see the hype between Ice Spice and all that, but it is what it is. Uh, we got a lot to get into. <laughs> uh, here's the video. Y'all see, I got I got my topics ready. This is the this is how I get my stuff ready, man. I just go through, check them out, read about them, look at them. Let's get back to it. So this is what led to this right here. So, <laughs> listen, and I'm going to speak from experience with this as well. Um, toxic relationships are not fun to be in. I, trust me on that one. When some woman is calling you, uh, I'm just going to say the word because that's the word she was mentioning. When uh, uh, a woman is calling you a bitch and throwing her phone at you and acting violently in front of people, in front of people, let's keep that in mind. The fact that she did this in front of actual in public means to tell me she's worse she's worse in private and people think these kind of relationships are oh these are cool these are amazing to be in i love that toxic these relationships end bad guys okay for celebrities thank god they have bodyguards and all these people protecting them so they can normally get out of the situation but people who have normal average lives like me and you when they go out here and do these things and promote this toxicity and think it's cool or stuff like that you know what ends up happening People get hurt, domestic violence, and sometimes ends in tragedy like death. We heard of a story not too long ago, I think about a year and a half ago now. There was this couple who was going through the same kind of stuff, very toxic, very bad, getting in fights all the time. And do you know how this story ended? The woman ended up fatally stabbing her. I mean, ended up fatally, uh, not stabbing, fatally killing the husband. And then she took her own life. Um, toxic, when you meet people with these kind of toxic traits, and I don't know how Uzi is. Uzi could be just as bad. I don't really like Uzi like that for a number of reasons. But the fact that he's also in this means he's probably part of the situation as well. And he's to blame himself, but she's also not a good person. She, JT is one of these women. Y'all saw her with Young Miami. These two women who are always promoting um, what they call the city girl life, 304 life. Um, this life of get every man, get head from him, you know, fly him out, have sex with him, F every dude. It's the same thing like Glorilla talks about. I'm F, I'm F N word free. I don't have all these dudes in my life. I just want to get out here and pop it. You have artists like y Lotto saying the same thing when she talks about um, in one of her songs, you know, she's going to, she says she'll get sloppy drunk and go home and get her rocks off. It's just this kind of stuff, this constant um, battle in between the um, relationships that it means nothing. At the end of the day, it's about money, and that's all that matters. If he ain't making money, he ain't good. If he ain't got a big penis, he ain't good. Um, and then you got men on the other side always talking about, oh, I just want neck from this girl. I just want to have sex with this girl. She don't mean nothing to me. She for the streets. And then you end up with this stuff that we keep seeing more and more of, which is just toxic relationships when you have somebody somebody throws a phone at you that should be end of the relationship right but now it seems like and our and, if, and i hate i hate always having to say this but it seems more because normally when i see this in white culture it immediately gets called out as abuse 
But when you see it in black culture, it just gets called normal. I like a bad chick. I like a boss chick. I like a chick who's um, crazy like this. It just doesn't seem like it, it carries the same weight. I don't know why that is. It should. I absolutely think it should. And I'm not blaming black people for this, but I am saying that society has made it because I think, I think it's because what hip hop promotes, it promotes a lot of fighting. It promotes a lot of violence. So if a black woman throws the phone at a black man, it's just nothing. It means nothing. And little Uzi didn't stand up for himself. And I'm pretty sure, to be honest with you, I don't think Uzi is this ultra aggressive man. So I think JT knows she could do that to him because there's certain men you can't do that to. You throw a phone at a certain man, he's going to get up. He might knock it, knock your lights out. And there's some men you do this kind of stuff to, they'll cut you off right then. Or they might, you know, some men you just know what the end result is. You, The second that phone leaves the hand, end the conversation. Don't ever come by me. This is the end of your life. You know, this is the end of us. You know what I mean? And I think little Uzi, from what I saw, I saw, I saw another clip of him. I didn't put that clip up because I don't know where in the timeline it happened. But there was a video that came out as well showing little Uzi apology. It looked like apologizing to JT, but I don't know if that came before or after the Ice Spice, so I didn't include it. But nonetheless, this is if that was the case, he was apologizing to her after it? No. Nah. Uzi, it's time to dip. I don't like you as a person, but if I don't also want you being in a relationship that's abusive, especially because little Uzi is a smaller man. He's a small guy. I think he's like 5'4", 5'3", 5'4". He's like a little shorter than little Wayne. He's short like me. You know, I'm not 5'4", but I'm a little taller than Uzi, but that's it. I'm the same height as Lil Wayne, I think. Same height as Lil Wayne and a little bit taller than Floyd Mayweather. I think I'm in that range. Uh, but nonetheless, <laughs> I think we need to avoid toxic relationships. I've been in a toxic relationship, and it's really hard because as a man, you feel like you're supposed to make her happy or you feel like you did something wrong. But when you get in a relationship like this and it gets real toxic like this, I know it can be funny and it, it's great. It makes great memes, but it's really, really dangerous. Domestic violence is not something we should really just take lightly. I think little Uzi needs to leave JT. They are not good for each other. Um, don't try to work it out. Leave. Um, I guarantee you JT's like this based off of all her music that I've heard, um, based off of what I've seen, based off of what I've heard about her from other people who make videos on JT. I just think it's time to go. And Uzi, I have not seen a whole lot of stories on him being aggressive or being domestic violence. I mean, being domestic violence, um, having domestic violence, but I could be wrong on that. But from what I've seen, little Uzi has never came off aggressive. Now he does do all this Satan worshiping and all this devil stuff. And that's bad for his soul, obviously. But I, 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 I still never get to condone somebody getting beat down. And I think little Uzi, there's a good chance little Uzi was bullied. I mean, it's, I'm sure women take advantage of Uzi because he's so small. I'm sure women took advantage of him in high school. I'm sure people took advantage of him and uh, bullied him. I'm not sure about that. I don't know his documentary. But based off what I've seen with guys as small as him, and the thing is, I'm short, guys, but the thing I had on me is I'm obese. <laughs> when I was growing up, uh, I was short, but I also was working out and played football, and I lifted weight, so I wasn't just somebody you just come up and mess with. You know what I mean? Not saying I could beat up everybody, but I wasn't a kid that you for sure bully um like pick on now people call me the n-word and all that kind of stuff but i'll consider that like physical bullying that's you get some words off but you ain't man enough to say it to my face or man enough to let's let's handle this one-on-one mano y mano um anyway that's my thoughts on it y'all let me know what y'all think about it so jt and uzi break up absolutely but maybe I'm wrong. Do y'all think y'all should stay in a toxic relationship like this? You think it makes Uzi look like more of a man? I don't care what he said about Ice Spice. To me, nothing warrants getting a phone thrown in your face that could have cracked his skull if she threw it hard enough. We saw, uh, what is her name? Uh, Alexa Bebe. Is that her name? Uh, y'all correct me. Um, but she got hit with the phone, remember? And it gave her three stitches in her head. So that stuff can absolutely cut. And it didn't look like she threw it very softly. She threw it through it. And then she called him the B word. Not looking good. Y'all let me know y'all's comments down below. And if you're in a relationship like this, please leave before it gets bad. Okay? All right. Peace.